any closer! Not a problem, handsome lady. Killing these fools is brain dead easy. You've done it! Not quite. We still have to find Patient Zero to put an end to this once and forever. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Ding dong, stop what you're doing, because I got something here you should be viewing. Hey! Mike, did you just kick my door in? Yeah, but it was important. Happy birthday, Zach! Oh, wow, a candle. Well, at least you remembered this time. Wouldn't miss it for the world. So, uh, you still have those really good cookies, or? Yeah, they're just on the counter, but do you want to- mm, Thanks, man. <sighs> Don't eat all of them, Mike. I want to save some for later. Don't eat all of my cookies. Mike! Mike! Oh, man, is this cake? Mike! And sometimes I just feel like you don't respect me as a friend. Well, I do respect you, Zach. And I think our friendship will be stronger than ever after today. Oh yes, happy birthday me. Thanks, Mike. Candles make great gifts. Yes, happy birthday to you. Well done. With the, like, I didn't see what happened, but you must have done something. Ah! Just put it out, put it out! What are you doing? I'm not a firefighter, Zach. It doesn't take a genius to put out a fire, Mike. Then you try it, Mr. Genius. Get out! Bad fire! Bad! Get, get out! Sir, I am willing to grant you a sum of $5,000 to leave the surrounding premises within 24 hours. Does this sound like something we can come to an agreement on? Guess we'll die. Wait, shut up, Mike! Okay. What did that guy say in that movie earlier? We still have to find Patient Zero to put an end to this. That's it! We need to find the Patient Zero! What? The original fire. If we put that out, the rest of the fire will extinguish. You mean like that zombie movie? Yeah! Kill the original host and everyone affected by him goes back to normal. The same logic could apply to fire. Zombies aren't even real. Shut up, Mike. Okay. I'm going in. Don't forget what I did here! You're gonna die! Tell my story! It won't be very interesting! Ah, uh, he's dead. Oh. Phew! Well, I'm glad that's over. Me too. But just for the record, no part of that should have worked. Well, Mike, sometimes an idea that seems stupid can end up being great, but you never know until you try it. Hmm. I guess that's true. <laughs> ah! Mike! Oh yeah! Trick candle. Reignites after you blow it out. Classic prank. Mike, trick candles go on birthday cakes, not in regular candles! Well, it's not much of a prank if you see it coming, so putting one in a typical candle seemed clever at the time. That's a horrible idea. Well, you never know until you try it. Uh, hey Zach, do we have any milk? Uh, we got skim milk. Uh, no, no, I don't want skim milk. W what's wrong with skim milk? No, fuck skim milk. No, don't fuck the skim milk. I'm gonna milk. fuck the skim milk. No, don't fuck the I'm gonna skim fuck the skim milk. Don't fuck it! I'm gonna fuck the skim milk! Do not put your dick I'm gonna in the stick, skim milk! I'm gonna stick my dick in the skim milk! Skim milk. Stick your dick in it! Dude, how could you be in love with my dad? I'm not in love with your dad. Your dad is in love with me. Hey, Zach, I'm heading out. You want me to pick up some of that uh, beard oil I've been using? It made my beard a lot glossier and fuller than yours, so, you know. Oh, am I interrupting your date? I'm sorry. I'll get out of your hair. Your beard hair? Your scraggly, unkempt beard hair. By the way, Gwen, there's a pie in the kitchen if you want some. Made by me, of course. Uh, Zach doesn't know how to cook. He only knows how to grow a dead rat for a beard. Mike, can I talk to you? Yep. Why? Gwen's hot and likes guys with beards. She's my date, and her name is Gina. Gina's hot and likes guys with beards. Mike, you are being weird. Knock it off. <sighs> okay, yeah, I guess I'm being a little petty. I'm just jealous that you can find a date and I can't, so 
I'm sorry, dude. Go have a good time. Wow. Okay. Thanks, man. Sorry about that. Shall we? Jack's beard sucks! Okay. Zach, come here! Zach, no! I'm come sorry. here! Stop! 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 Mike. Zach, stop! My move. beard took forever to grow! Mike. Stop! Mike! God, no, just, Zach! I'm gonna ah. I'm just, hey, stop it. hitting! Get back! Still, Mike! Get back. Mike! Ah. God. I will shave you! Not if I shave you first! I will do what I must. You will try. Wow, this is getting really dangerous. Right. Yeah. We should probably stop. So you'll shave? Your beard is ruined, Mike. Now stop stealing my date. Fine then. Go date Gwen. Go have fun with your new best friend. Mike. You are my best friend. No! What? You're not replacing me? Is that what this has all been about? No, I'm not replacing you. You're a good guy. Funny, enthusiastic, hardworking. Your nicer qualities may be ultimately underrepresented in this video series, but they exist, mainly through subtle dialogue hints at the otherwise real-life equivalent of this friendship. Also, you do pay most of the rent, so... You, you really mean all that? Come on, don't be an idiot, Mike. Gina, I'm back! Yeah, she left. Wanna play Smash? Sure. Oh shoot, this is the one with the loose analog stick. Can we switch? No, you handed me this one. I'm calling Dibs. But- Dibs! Come here! Bring it! Yeah. Ow, 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 ow! God, fine! Thank you, Mike. Hi, I'm Mike, and this is my art tip of the week. Hunching over your art can do a real number on your back, so remember to get up every once in a while and stretch. Mailman Mason, what you got for us today? Morning, Zach. Got a letter here from your landlord. Looks important. Huh. Let me see that. Hey, Zach. What you got there? Uh, it's a letter from the landlord. Ugh, great. Is he still mad I was breeding rats in the attic? No, it looks like he's... Wait, what? What? You what? What? Nothing? What does the, uh, letter say? Right. It looks like we didn't pay rent? Mike! What? Let me see that. It's your job to send it, Mike. How did you forget? I didn't forget. I did pay rent. You did? Of course I did. Like, eight months ago. What? Yeah! Mike, rent is due every month. You have got to be joking! What? No. Yes! Well, that's just ridiculous if that's true. We're gonna have to go see the landlord. Uh, Mike, I don't think that- I mean, who does this guy think he is? Uh, the landlord? He owns the house! What is the meaning of this? I demand retribution! What? Excuse me? I'm so sorry. He's a moron. You gave us a formal warning for not paying rent! Well, if that got sent out, then the system found that you didn't. Hey, wait a minute. Are you the same guy that bred rats in your attic? No. And double check your system, because I did pay rent! Yeah, like eight months ago. What? Let me see that! I would like to be formally unwarned, Robin. Well, this is ridiculous. It's right there. See? You paid eight months ago. You're all set. Sorry about that. L let me see that. I don't get why you're upset. Because I'm not usually dumb! 
but it's fine. Seriously, it's actually kind of amazing we pay so little for rent. How did you negotiate that? Actually, it was Robin that insisted on the low price. What? You think I just buy up all the affordable housing to lease out at unreasonable monthly prices just so poorer people can have basic housing? I'm not some kind of horrible leeching monster. That's right. Wait, okay, one more thing. I give you a cut of the rent every month. Where has that been going? Wait, is that what that money was for? Well, yeah. Mike, where has my money been going? Uh... Rat food? Oh god, I've read too many rats! What the fuck?! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hello! This is Mike of Mike and Zack. And Zack. And Zack. And I'm Mike. We hope you enjoyed what we're calling Season 1 of Mike and Zack. Yep, and we're sitting here at the end to let you know that we're not done yet. In fact, I would say we're just getting started. Flannel. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing, by the way. We just restocked the Talking Suction Cup Man plushies. They won't be around forever, so check out the link below to get yours. There should be time to get it before Christmas, too. That's fanfiber.com slash collections slash pymations. Pymations! Yeah!